Okay, today we're, today we're going to talk about the differences between the forged steel crank and the billet steel crank. Both made out of the 4340 material, but the main differences are the thicknesses of that throw here. This is a lot lighter duty crank. It don't, uh, it don't, it can't take the horsepower. This one can, but it's, it's cost less money, and it will work good like a, for an alder. You know, a 12, 12, 14, 16 horsepower alders. They'll run all day in that probably. An NQS stock alder, an aftermarket block. This would be probably the borderline for it. It may not hold up. You can always run the outboard bearings to give it more support, but that takes more drag too. But uh, the better choice is to go with the built crank. And you just see definitely the difference is, is the thickness here. You can kind of tell by looking at it too. The forged crank, you see where that's been forged, and this here is where they, when they get done forging the two pieces of the metal, here, it's hammered together. They got a, a, they call it a clearancing die or cleanup die that just cleans off that extra, uh, that extra uh, slag, not slag, but the uh, burr on there. They, they cleans it off when it's hot. That's the, that's the main differences here. And then it, again, like I said uh, in another video, I talked about you know the, the crank's going to break. Here's the main bearing right here in each of these cranks. The rods here, so you got all this distance from here to here, so these cranks always break right here in the radius on this, on, the, on this side. You want to check it. Another way to do it, if you're ever buying a used crank and you want to see if it's good, it's a simple thing. I take like a half inch wrench, nothing fancy, stick it on the edge of the edge of the countertop and you should have a ring. You should be able to hear the ring when you, after you hit it and if it goes thud, it's no good. If, if, it, if it sounds like that, it's probably no good, but if you hear that, that, that ringing noise on that thing, that's that's a good crank as has a, a salvo. If it starts cracking here, it will it will thud, and you'll it'll sound like it, it won't have the ring. So, an easy check to do if you're uh, buying a used crank from somebody, just take a little ring test on it. You know, uh, uh, this this is a plastic countertop here. You do it on a metal countertop, it'll help resonate that sound because this plastic kind of deadens the, uh, uh, the, the 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 ringing of it. So, anyway, simple things you can do on that. So that's all I have it for that.